We're now in the Deville, an absolutely charming place which is full of culture, full of wonderful little places to visit. History is everywhere, shops are everywhere. You get some really nice cafes, boulangeries and restaurants. But look at those ornate houses, absolutely amazing. So let's take a little walk. If you look above, you'll see different animals and different figures made of clay and covered with uh, some shiny substance. I don't know the technical term for it, but the town is full of those figures. They're so ornate. They make roofs look so much better. That little touches. I never get enough of this place. I mean, look at this. How cool is that? Some buildings are old and historical, and some buildings are new, and you can only tell by being really up close to one. They all merge together and they all work together really, really well, which is quite amazing. But if we go around and exit the uh, city center and actually walk down a regular street, we'll see that this beauty doesn't stop. It doesn't stop with the, with the city center. It continues on, it goes, goes on. This is a truly ornate piece of architecture which was built in 1907 by Baron Henry de Rothschild. He was a big fan of horse racing, that's why he built it on the hill right next to the race course. The colors are simply stunning, unusual combinations of red, green, white and terracotta brickwork is really sophisticated and of course its setting in the midst of apple trees makes it stand out. Its true beauty can only be appreciated up close and preferably in the sunshine when a vast array of details is leading your eye around the surfaces of the villa. There is one tip that I really need to share with you about this villa. You do have to book well in advance in order to visit the villa inside. Unfortunately, at a time we did not know that, but we've enjoyed this marvelous villa from outdoors only. Amidst other things, it felt like we appeared in a paradise of vintage cars and other quirky cars as well. This is when Poltergeist is having a little bit of fun. When one 
wandering into different shops, flowers don't just end outside, they're everywhere. Real flowers, artificial flowers, to be honest, I'm lost as to which one is which. Visiting many boulangeries and cafes, we've noticed a vast amount of local produce so tasty. Mm -mm -mm. Makes your mouth water every time. Wandering away from the busy city center, we realized that all the villas are just as beautiful as the architecture in the historical city center. All the villas look unique, pristine, and everything sinks into the greenery covered by the wonderful sunshine of the summer. Thank you very much for joining me on this walk to Deville. Be sure to like, share and subscribe to my channel. And remember to leave your comments below. I'll see you next Thursday at 7 o'clock in the evening, British Standard Time. Goodbye.